Hey, welcome to, what is it? This is our last this is day. Day 21. Day 21. 21 days of prayer and fasting. And we are so thankful that you have been with us for it's this true. journey. And so this is our last two to three minute video that we're encouraging you on our focus today. So it's on, it's the last the last entry on our 21 days of prayer and fasting card. And today we are talking about declaring God's word over our life and situation. Yeah. So what does the Bible say? What does the Bible say about your life? What does it say about uh, meeting your needs? What does it say about health? What does it say about all these things that really do affect our life? Here's the deal. I believe that God wants you to, by faith, make declarations what the word says about your situation. That's what faith declarations are all about. Uh, it, listen, it is a wonderful thing to connect with God. You know, earlier in this 21 days, we talked about the power of unity. I'll tell you, if you wanna be in unity with anybody, you wanna be in unity with God. Saying what he said, it, it, it changes things. Being in agreement with the word of God and then speaking that word from your mouth. You know, one of the ways you can do that is you take scripture and you just boldly make a declaration or a statement about it. Um, added to that, like for when, for instance, you could say, I, I boldly declare that I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. That's and right. you can pull out the verses and you can quote the verses. Mm -hmm. um, but you can also give thanks for, to God. And that's another way of making a declaration. It's like, thank you, Lord, that my body is healed because right. of the stripes of Jesus. So we would encourage you to pull out scripture, whether it has to do with provision, healing, mm -hmm. things that are very declarative in the word of God. And you yeah. use your mouth and you declare those things and in doing so you give thanks to God as though it's already done. If it's a promise of God, if it's in the word of God, God fully intends for you to walk in that. He wants you to walk in victory. He wants you to walk in health. It doesn't mean we don't have problems. It doesn't mean we don't get attacked. We all do. Uh, this is not living in perfection. It's just when imperfection comes, when problems come, what do we do with it? Well, we speak the word of God, speak it over our lives, boldly declare. Don't apologize for it, uh, but boldly declare the word of God. Mm -hmm. Faith declarations. And do it even when you don't feel like it. That's, That's right. That is the hardest thing to do, but I'm encouraging you. We are encouraging you. Mm -hmm. Even when you don't feel like it, speak the word of God over your, your body, over That's your right. life, over your family, over your church, over your city. Just do it. Makes a difference. Yes. So thank you so much for joining us Boy, in this journey. It's, it's been, been wonderful. Great. And what we believe is that that many of us have gained a new habit of prayer during this That's 21 right. days that we're going to carry out into the future days. That's right. Hey, God bless you. Thanks for joining us in this journey. And uh, we'll see you again soon. God bless. Bye-bye. Have a great day.